Hey guys, Joe Deary, Powerful Improvements. I've uh, been running crazy. I got somewhat of a day off-ish today. It's Thursday and I'm going to work on uh, putting together the surface cleaner that I ordered and I'm going to create a new gun from some parts that I got. A nice Sutner Easy Pull, put that together today and I'll clean up my mess around here and show you what we got going on. So I swapped my shop into this side of the barn, a little more room for me. And as you can see, I've got stuff all over the place. So I'm gonna try to get that a little bit organized. I'm gonna to try to clean up in the back of the truck here a little bit and get all my batteries charged. Just basically try to get this thing a little bit more reset, put things away so that I'm ready uh, for this weekend. I've got a lot going on. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday will be big washes for me. And hopefully we get chemical delivered today because that's all I have left. All right, we bought the GP Hammerhead 18 inch surface cleaner. Looks like it's gonna work out pretty good for us. It came set up for a four gallon machine. So we're gonna swap out the nozzles that we want for the 5.5. Uh, came with all the parts that we need. Looks like a fairly simple setup. Handle just clicks together. A couple bolts go in there. Thread a fitting into the handle. Thread a hose into here. Hook up to the brackets. Piece of cake. So I'm gonna read the directions and uh, jump right in and get this thing built. Okay, so I've recently been educated on these nozzles a little bit. And the numbers that are on here are referring to the degree of fan and the gallons per minute. So the nozzles that came on this are 25 degree fan at 2.5 gallons, or excuse me, 2 gallons per minute. So the number on these is 25, representing the angle of the spray, 0, 20, the 20 representing the two gallons per minute. Sometimes you see it referred to as 2.5 and then, or 2.0 in that case. Uh, the new nozzle that I'm putting in is 25.0, 25 or 25.0, 2.5. And this represents a two, ga two and a half gallon per minute nozzle at 25 degrees. So when you're using multiple nozzles, you take your gallons per minute and divide it by how many nozzles you're using roughly okay so the, i was advised on this machine i know one guy who i respect very much his name's parker bateman runs the same cleaner with the same machine and has great luck using the five gallon per minute nozzles even though we're producing around six gallons per minute he says it ups the psi just enough to make this run perfectly so i'm going to try the 25 Oh, 25 and that's 25 degrees at two and a half gallons per minute per nozzle so times two will be five gallons per minute on this thing so i'm going to put these in and i'm going to give it a shot so at some point i'll uh upgrade to some true blue right now i'm using regular old teflon tape which is what i always use at some point i'll get a little true blue container and we'll give that a try okay and also you should line this fan up in line with the beam so the fan is spraying flat this way that's what makes it propel itself these are on slightly of an angle so it pushes itself with the fan so in line with the bar all right <clears throat> it comes with this inline filter that goes here in the handle so i'm going to connect that just like that and then we're gonna put on our connector here so I can plug right directly into the hose. And I'm going to also create a, uh, a quick release ball valve setup today so that I can put that in line here when I'm gonna be using this and be able to switch devices out. I don't currently have the ball valve set up, uh, but I'm gonna make one with a swivel on it. So it's gonna be nice. So that's an inline filter. And then this is the brass general pump fitting that came with it. We're going to use that up. Okay, we got everything thread taped, ready to go. And then simply plugging this into here and screwing that in, and it'll be good to go. This is just on here with these quick release pins and a nice, pretty rugged setup. I'm real happy with this. I wish I would have made the upgrade long ago, which everyone said was going to happen. And I'm not in disagreement. Uh, this unit was only 300 bucks. And uh, I understand it's fairly durable. So that was kind of the driving point for me was for 300 bucks, how can I not? 
and uh, we're gonna give it a try. All right, so that's all done. All the fittings are on it. We've got it professionally customized with the powerful improvement sticker. Get the lettering aim in the right way. Pretty slick, nice lightweight unit. I'm gonna give it a try in a few and see how it goes. All right, now we're gonna make a nice DN10 ball valve with a Mosmatic swivel on the hose side. So hose is gonna connect here, swivel, on off switch, and then this will go to either the gun or the surface cleaner or whatever we decide to use. But this way I can swap it in and out quickly on the end of my hose if that's how I wanna use it for the day. We're also gonna be trying some ball valve rinsing and some ball valve washing uh, now that we're gonna have this set up. And I'm gonna get this together real quick. All right, that's beautiful. Nice, clean, all the way through. And uh, the advantage to rinsing or having the open flow be on this end is that you're not, when you go to do this and you open it up, you're not blowing O-rings out of that constantly. And that's what'll happen when you start putting some pressure on there and you open it up and it'll blow your O-rings out. So this is why guys run them this way. So you're always tapering down with the flow. It's always going in, that way you don't, you're not hitting lips on the way up. So this is nice and smooth all the way through. And we're gonna remove that little chrome piece on the handle right now. All right, because we know that's gonna come right off of there. Those things never stay on. So, bye-bye. All right, so next we're building a little pistol gun. This is the Sutner ST2305. It's also known as the Easy Pull. It's very, very light on the trigger. Nice lightweight gun. And we're doing stainless steel fittings wherever possible. Okay, I never buy brass anymore. I'll use a brass fitting if it's, you know, something that's already there or laying around. Um, but anything I buy from that, this point forward this year has all been stainless, uh, much easier to replace. So we got all thread taped up. We're gonna go here. Okay, and then we're gonna be able to connect our nozzles right there. So we're gonna have a short gun. And then I'm doing a quick release here. I'm probably going to add an additional Mosmatic swivel in here like I have on my other gun because uh, I don't do a lot of this back and forth with the ball valve. Uh, if I'm just downstreaming, I don't need to be lugging this thing around. And uh, you know, this is this is fairly heavy. This unit right here, all told, is heavier than this is gonna be. This is all plastic. Again, it's you know, quite heavy, especially with all these connections. So on the norm, I don't wanna be carrying that around, but if we're gonna be surface cleaning and power washing, we'll swap that in. So I'm gonna get this pistol built. All right, there you go. Sweet, nice little gun. And we're gonna give that a try over the next week or so. Now I'm gonna build a 24 inch aluminum lance with stainless fittings on either end. It's wicked lightweight, very light. On the occasion that I need a little extension, I can drop that right on this gun or even on the other gun. You can lace two or three, two or three of these together too. You know, I've got a 12 inch on the truck, an 18 inch on the truck, and now I'm gonna have the 24. So, I mean, in a pinch, you could link two or three of them together to reach a spot if needed, but that's the one that's getting built next. Oh yeah, baby. Bring me that fresh shock. These guys are probably the worst carrier in New England. They never show up when they say they're going to. They were supposed to be here last week. It's friggin' Thursday, and I'm down to about six gallons and they finally show up, so at least they're here. Okay, I have found the vice grip to be my best method for holding the lance, the round lance, while I put an adjustable wrench on there and tighten this down. Try to just tighten it enough so that you don't mar the crap out of your lance. Or if you don't care, go ahead. But don't try to crush this thing. Just hang on to it. Get it as snug as you can, and as soon as it starts to move, that's it. Okay. Marred it up a little bit. Not terrible. At least I know I got them on there nice and snug. But that's how I've been putting these together. So now I've got a 24-inch lance to put on the truck. All right, there we go. 225 gallons, 220 gallons. Ready to go. I'm gonna upload, fill up my tank right now, and then I'm gonna go head, head out and hang out with a friend of mine and uh, do a little washing at his house. Hey, David, thanks again for the uh, bung wrench. Makes my life very easy. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so we're transferring chemical with my drop stick. 
This one normally sits in my big SH tank back there and that's how I pull everything through the proportioner. When we want to transfer, we pull it out of there, put it in there, pull through the proportioner, through the pump setup, choose on the ball valve if we're going through the transfer hose up there and then when I'm not, I switch it the other way and it goes through my reel. So I don't know, that's probably too confusing to explain. But I'm gonna be working on setting up a dedicated transfer pump. I have the Gen 2 set up here with those two five gallon pumps operate on that switch. The Fat Boy is right here. We're currently only using the Fat Boy. So those are completely disconnected back there. I don't use them at all. Uh, they're basically, you know, back up at this point. Uh, they're banjo fitting down the back over there. I think we're gonna set something up with a ball valve where I can pull SH here and also pull water to flush and set up a dedicated transfer. Uh, when I have some free time, we're gonna get that going. I'm out here at my friend's house. Give my new pistol a try. Thing's friggin' awesome. It's gonna get a lot of use, I can tell already. And this new sauce is freaking lightning, man. This was nasty, I should have taken a picture. Well, quick one today, I'm not doing a whole bunch of video on this wash. Just wanna show you guys the tools in action. I'll be using the surface clean as a little tiny concrete patio back there behind those wood railings. And we're going to hit that real quick too. Yeah, so my surface cleaner didn't quite work the way I expected to back there. I must have the uh, pressure on the machine set too low. So I'm going to deal with it tomorrow. I just got the house washed, moved on. I'm going to put a pressure gauge on it tomorrow. Uh, turn the on loader up accordingly while it's on the uh, surface cleaner and see if we can get it to hover. Uh, it wouldn't hover today, so I was dragging it around. You can just feel it wasn't spinning at the velocity that it should. But uh, we'll try that again tomorrow. And I hope you guys have a good night.